hi guys welcome back to my channel you know it's your girl Gillette and I'm here with another video in my previous video guys I said that I was gonna I'm gonna be baking two pudding one cornmeal pudding and one sweet potato so guys this is a sweet potato pudding that I'm about to do right now so please remember to like the video subscribe to my channel um, give this video a thumbs up guys Remember to hit that post notification bell as soon as I drop another video, you'll be the first to be notified. So guys, this is grated potato, which um, I didn't have any yam. Normally I would put like a piece of yam in there. So I had like some cocoa and the reason why we I added the yam or the cocoa is to help it to get that starch that it needs. To hold the potato together so to this guys I'm gonna add one and a quarter cup of sugar so I'm gonna add my sugar now and I'm gonna combine all of this together I'm gonna mix the sugar in with the potato guys okay guys as you can see I have added the sugar and I've combined everything together so guys because I like to add a little bit of the flake the coconut flake so this is what I'm going to be doing right now I'm just going to add a small amount of the coconut flakes to the pudding because I like to taste the coconut flake into the pudding guys when it's baked so that's the reason why I add just a small amount to it Okay guys, so you see I've added it to it and I've combined it with the potato and the sugar. Okay guys, so in this container I have one cup of flour, I have some grated nutmeg, some cinnamon powder guys. So I'm going to add this, the flour, to my potato portion by portion. And I also added my salt to the flour also. So here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes, guys. Just a small amount, and then I'm gonna combine, combine it together. Okay guys, as you can see, I've added all my flour, combine it together. And what the flour does, guys, to the pudding, it actually holds the potato together. After when, after which, after when the pudding is baked, it actually helps to hold that potato together, guys. So in this container over here, I have my coconut milk. So I'm going to add it to my potato now. To all this mixture and guys I'm not gonna add it portion by portion I'm just gonna add all of it and then mix it in there it is so there it is guys that's what it's looking like right now so I'm just gonna mix this in and I'll show you when I finish mixing it is Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like right now. So to this, I'm going to add some melted butter. So here it is guys, in my pot right over here. So I'm just going to add this. Oops. Okay guys, so I've added my melted butter. I'm just going to mix that in. Thank you. 
you guys have mixed in my butter so to this I'm gonna add some vanilla here it is guys this is my vanilla so I'm gonna add maybe about mm, a tablespoonful of vanilla I'm also going to add a little bit of almond flavor to it not a lot and last but not least some rose water guys maybe about a teaspoon a tablespoon maybe about a tablespoon of vanilla but a teaspoon each of um, the almond and the rose water so guys it is smelling good already it's not even in the oven yet so guys I'm just gonna continue to combine this together to mix it up and then after which I'm gonna put this in my baking tin and pop it into the oven okay guys so I've had a small amount of raisins I didn't want a lot of raisins in there because I don't really like raisin too much raisin in my potato pudding so I just added a small amount of raisins guys to it so this is what it is looking like right now yeah guys this is what it's looking like right now okay guys so this is what my potato my mixture is looking like right now what I've done just now I've gone ahead and I've added a half a teaspoon of browning normally guys I would add molasses but I don't have any molasses so what I do I add just a half a teaspoon of browning to get the color that I actually need when my um, pudding is fully baked so this is the reason why it's having this color right now you yeah, guys so I'm just gonna put it into the baking tin right now and then pop it into the oven and then I'll show you what it's what it's looking like when it's finished it might not be tonight because as you can see guys <laughs> it's night right now so I'll show you what it looks like after it is baked okay guys so I've gotten three pudding so this is one this is one and this is one and in this small pot here guys as you can see I have some mixture this is some sugar really sweet sugar along with um, some uh, come on butter so this is what I'm going to be doing guys I'm just gonna add it to the top of my pudding before I actually place it into the oven yeah guys and when I'm doing this pudding guys I normally use some foil paper over it when you use the foil paper guys it actually let the potato cook much faster than if you just leave it open like that what the potato normally would do it just dries out but once you put some foil over it it will allow the potato to cook really fast and nice just the way you want it so this is what it is looking like right now after adding my mixture to the top of it yeah guys so I'll do this to all three of them and then I'm gonna put some foil paper over it and then add it to the oven so this is what it's looking like Yeah, guys, and this is my potato pudding. Yeah, guys, this is what my potato pudding is looking like. As you can see. Yeah. So, guys, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. So, as soon as I drop another video, you'll be the first to be notified.